I'm so excited I'm here today with Simon from VeggiePod, who's going to share with us his top five tips on how to look after and grow vegetables and herbs in your VeggiePod. The first one's all about sun, sun, sun. So we're growing vegetables, and particularly the big roots, the big fruits need a lot of energy, so lots of sun is key. There are some things like our leafy greens here that can get away with four hours or less, but heaps of sun is good for your veg. Tip number two. Tip number two is then also what you're putting your plants in, the soil, right? So we had all the energy coming from the sun, but it's also feeding and getting structure from the soil. So I always say, get the best premium potting mix you can, because then it's, you're gonna get great bang for buck. And in that, for example, in Australia anyway, we have a Aussie standards tick box, and it's red and white logo. Mm -hmm. When it's standardized to premium, then you know you've got good slow release ferts in there, the manures are well aged, and you've got great structure. Okay, and then tip number three. Like you've got it here, bring it as close to the kitchen as possible. I mean, obviously bearing in mind your space and bearing in mind sun, I've found a lot of people, they build these great gardens, but it's actually a bit of a hike to get to and they just don't end up using it. So if you can get it really close to the kitchen, get your culinary herbs, get your things straight in, you'll tend to use it a lot more. Tip number four on the veggie pod. Yeah, well, it's about them picking your plants, right? Mm. So. I like to tell people, choose three types of plants. One, something that you eat. If you just go and grab everything in there, not eating, it's not much fun. Two, make sure you get a quick win in there too to, for that instant gratification. So something like a lettuce or a baby spinach, you're gonna be eating it within a couple of weeks. And then do something for fun. So a big fennel or a big Brussels sprout, something that you may not eat that well, but it's gonna be fun to do. And the last tip, number five, yeah, it's all about watering next. I mean, obviously I'm a bit biased with the veggie pods because they are the best watering system around, but generally gardening as a whole, you've got to be on top of your watering. So some things are very sensitive. You can overwater, you can underwater. So with a veggie pod or a wicking bed, any kind of wicking bed, they're great because it draws the water from below and the plants pretty well take what they want. Amazing. Thank you for coming and sharing that Not with all. us today. Pleasure, thanks. Yes.